Hello and welcome to another video on Inkscape, a free open source vector graphics editor. To learn where you can download a copy and how to use it, click on the link in the top right hand corner of the screen. If you find this video helpful, then help us by giving a like and subscribing to the channel. Remember to hit the bell icon so you're notified when we release new videos. So in this video we're going to take a look at how we can round corners. I'm going to show you how you can round corners on any shape in a moment, but first I want to take a quick look at the rectangle tool and the polygon tool. Uh, they've both got functionality that allows you to round corners. So if we go to the rectangle tool and drag out a rectangle, um, it provides you with two different types of handle. We've got the square handles, which are for rescaling your rectangle, and you've got a round handle in the corner. If we pull down on the round handle, it puts a nice even radius on the corner. If you wanted the X and Y dimensions to be slightly different on the rounded corner, you can also change it by pulling out the second circle. This function affects all four corners at the same time. So that was the rectangle tool. If we come up to the polygon tool and drag out a shape with our polygon tool, in this case a triangle, uh, we don't have the, the round handle for adjusting the corners, but what we do have at the top is we have this box rounded. So what we can do is increase this to round off our polygon. It does have the effect, the effect of billowing out the sides, which might not be the, the uh, desired uh, result, but it's still quite handy. I'm going to change that back to zero. I'm going to show you a different way we can round corners, and this applies to all shapes. So we'll change that back to zero. So to use live path effects, which is how we're going to round our corners this time, we need to, for the best results, we need to convert our object to a path. So if we come up to path, we can press on object to path. Then if we select our nodes tool, we can see that we've got a node in each of the corners. So it's now just a path and not a predefined object. So for this method, we're going to come up to path. We're going to come down to path effect. And this pops up our live path effect dialog box over on the right hand side. We're going to come down and add a path effect. And this gives us the options of all the different path effects that we can use. For this one, we're looking for corners. So we're going to click on corners. Oh, by the way, if you wanted, if you're finding it difficult to find anything, you can actually start typing in the uh, effect that you're looking for. And it should make life a lot easier for finding it. So we want the corners path effect and we get our relevant dialog box. So you might not be able to see on the screen, but it's actually changed the um, the handles in the corners, or knots as they're called in this case, to green. So if we drag down on these, we can round the corners now, and this works for any shape. We can do them independently, or if we drag a box over multiple nodes, we can do the nodes together to keep them even. We've also got different options you've got down here. So at the moment we've got fillet selected. We can change it to inverse fillet. We can change it to chamfer or we can change it to inverse chamfer. At the moment we've only got one step. So the chamfer is one step. So we've basically got one side to the chamfer. If we increase that to two, then when we do chamfer in inverse chamfer, you can see the difference. So at the moment it's affecting all of the corners at the same time. What we can do is come down to change only selected nodes. So if we click on this one, now when we change our chamfer or fillet, it just changes the corners that we've got selected at the time. So another way we can do it is if we come up to a corner that we want to change, we can come up, we can hold down shift, we can click on one of the knots. Um, up pops a modify fillet chamfer dialog box and you can change things here. It doesn't instantly change when we use this way. So we might want to return it to a chamfer and we we'll change divisions to three. And then when we press modify, those changes will take effect. Another way we can do it is if we hold down control and then click on one of the knots, 
you can cycle through the different settings. So another thing we can do, instead of using the position of the knots to change the, the corner, the radius on the corner, we can also use a radius. So if, for example, we stuck in 40 up here, we can round the corners. So we've now got a radius of 40 pixels on the corners. So the radius function is particularly good if you wanted to use it on, say, a triangle with uneven corners. If you use, if you move the knots to adjust the corners, you won't get the same radius. But if we use radius, so we need to, down here we've got a tick box that says use knot distance instead of radius. So we untick that. Now, when we increase the radius on our corners, the circle radius that's used to round off the corners is now the same on all three corners. So the last thing you need to know um, about this path effect is if you want to set this path effect so you can just uh, manipulate your shape as you normally would. If you go up to, hold on, let me get the selection tool, we select our, our triangle, we go up to path and then object to path. Now if we get our nodes tool you can see that all the nodes are individually set and we can change it as we would have done before using the path effect. I think that's all I need to cover in this in this tutorial and I um, hope it's been helpful. If you've got any questions, leave a comment below and as always, thanks for watching.